Then plug in your power. Mine's a micro USB. Yours might be different. But plug that into the computer. And then plug that into the wall. And then plug your HDMI into the computer. And then plug that into the screen. After that, you'll either need a flash drive or a SD card and one of these things to plug the SD card into the back of to save your operating system and your games. Next, you need to install the operating system. So click the link in the description and then download for whichever kind of Raspberry Pi you have. After that, you'll need to download this program to flash the operating system onto the drive or SD card. All the links will be in the description. After that, open the program and click flash from file. Then choose the RetroPie operating system we just downloaded. Then choose your flash or SD card. Then click select. Then take out the operating system SD card or the flash drive. Then put the SD card in so the card is on the top and the pins are on the bottom. Then unplug the Raspberry Pi and plug it back in. Now the operating system should start to load up. Now you can see that I have some games but it doesn't come preloaded with games. So you'll need to add some games. To do that you'll either need a flash drive or you can do it on the same SD card the operating system is on. But that is harder, I'll make a video on how to do that later. But for a flash drive, make a folder and call it RetroPie. Then plug it in and it'll start blinking if it has a light. And if it does have a light, then just wait till it stops blinking and unplug it and plug it back into your computer. And if it doesn't have a light, then just wait about a minute and then take it out and plug it into another computer to add games. But the ROMs one, this is where you drop all your games in. And if you have ROMs already downloaded, just move them into this folder. But to get games, go to ROM websites and make sure you use forms to make sure the websites are safe. Then plug the flash drive back in to the Raspberry Pi. Then click pause and click restart emulation station. Then click pause and click configure input. And then just click and hold A or your equivalent of A. And then just click all the buttons that it says to and click and hold A if you want to skip a button. Then after that, just open a game and start playing. See how it works out.